wait a minute, hold up, wait a minute, I did not, <laughs> my last review that was non-spoiler, I said that I can't wait for the season finale, well, uh, good boy, it's the season finale of Better Call Saul, Marco, season finale, man, I gotta say though, and I'm not gonna bullshit you. Uh, I expected more out of the season finale, but it was all like I said, it was overall good, solid episode to basically end the season. But I, I didn't, it didn't feel like a season finale at all. It did not. It did not feel like a season finale. I could see the bridge that they were trying to do. So this is my spoiler review of the season finale of Better Call Saul, Marco. Man, um, there's some there's some things to talk about. It's great to see, you know, the relationship between Saul and Kim is still strong. You know, him having that little discussion with her. Um, I'm assuming you saw the episode, so these are just my thoughts. You know, just that discussion with her about, you know, how'd you, like, who told you? And basically Howard and, you know, why didn't you tell me it was Chuck? And she, did, she didn't want him to hate her brother. And, you know, Saul doesn't hate his brother. I don't think he could ever... And it, you could, you really, it hits home, especially when he talks to Marco about how he needs to go back. And Marco tells him, why? Why are you going to go back? Your brother's a dick. Stay here with me. You're home. I'm your brother. And then, you know, Saul's basically, he's he's my brother. I got I to gotta go back to him. Even though I hate, you know, I hate him right now. I, he's still my brother. So, uh, that, uh, you can see, you can see the parallels between those two. Uh, it was good to see that Saul got his money. Or Jimmy, <laughs> Slippin' Jimmy. It was great to see the flashback as well with uh, Slippin' Jimmy and Marco and how they pretty much went their separate ways. And we find out why Jimmy was in the shit he was in and why Chuck had to bail him out. Pretty much he took a shit on little kids and he was going to be tried for to be a, like a molester, a child uh, uh well, a pedophile. <laughs> oh, Jimmy, you're, you're such a jackass. But he did, he did... He wanted to take a shit in the car with the sunroof because apparently he had an ex-wife and apparently this douchebag slept with his ex-wife. So that's that's pretty crazy stuff to know that Jimmy had an ex-wife and who was she, I wonder. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on, Jimmy. You know, Kim. Kim's your girl. You know, Kim is your girl. Um, <clears throat> it's great to see Howard and, you know, Jimmy really understand each other. Howard telling him, you know, I always liked you and... I, I, you know, I, I didn't, I had to do what Chuck had, Chuck's more important. So, but, uh, it, you know, you could tell kind of like Howard really meant that and he really does like Jimmy and he, it looks like he would want him to be on board, but you know, it's Chuck's, Chuck's shit. It's Chuck's ship. He's the captain. He's running it. There's no mutiny. Nobody's going to mutinate Chuck. So it is what it is. And so we see Jimmy go back to his hometown and we see his best friend or friend Marco and Marco is still in the you know drinking at the same bar, passed out. I love that moment too when he's like waking him up. It was there was a lot of good humor in this episode and it was a lot basically it was interesting to see Jimmy go back to his roots, go back to basically where it all started and him and Marco getting back to the same shenanigans, the same shit, you know, the same con shit uh, stuff. But we also see, you know, Marco doing this little. <coughs> <coughs> oh my oh wow that, that actually was a real cough oh shit Ugh. well anyway yeah so we see you know marco doing a little you know chest to the fucking you know i mean fist you know fist to the chest you know and coughing so we know something's wrong with marco but we see them get into the shenanigans i absolutely love when that chick just like is straight out looking at uh jimmy jimmy's waking up you know the camera's like acting like you know it's his eyeball and his uh pov and then she's like you're not kevin costner you son of a bitch you're not kevin costner <laughs> jimmy's uh faking that he's kevin costner and you know of course him and marco uh, take back some broads so that was that was hilarious i thought that was so funny and also tricking that guy about the coin about the jfk i thought that was great as well great material great stuff you know like i said the writing has been solid all season um so I did like the Kevin Costner bit. I did like how the temptation of Marco pretty much tempting, you know, Jimmy to, you know, let's one more heist. One more, you know, with the Rolex. One more. One more time. I need this. 
you could tell that uh, Marco definitely needed it. You could tell Marco really missed uh, Jimmy, or a.k.a. Saul. He really missed him, and you could feel the relationship, the, the bond that they had. And, you know, we only get a little bit of it, but you could see that bond, and you could feel it. Uh, especially when, you know, Marco, the plan doesn't go to fruition. Marco has a heart attack, he pretty much, and he passes away. And, you know, Jimmy goes to his uh, funeral, and he gets this ring from... Uh, Marco's mother to that gave to Jimmy. Uh, it, it definitely that was a that was a sad moment, but you know it was, we didn't know too much of a Marco to really you know shed tears. But it was sad to see you know these two who did form a bond and form like a brotherly kind of type bond. You know them you know just one last hurrah basically, and that's what Marco wanted. Um, so that was that was great. It was great that you know Jimmy was there for his funeral, and then Kim calling him. Asking them, you want back, you know, we have a position for you for this case. It's too big to handle. Come with us. We got you. Uh, we got an office for you at Santa Fe. And, you know, Jimmy takes it. And we also see him go in, you know, we see a little cameo with Mike. We see Saul get back, go back, you know, basically leaving. You know, he was going to go go in, uh, the little do his little business. But he comes back. He asks Mike, you know. We had 1.2 million. I believe 1.2 million. We could have split eight. Yeah, 1.2 because I was watching Breaking Bad. We could um, split, you know, split that. We both would have had like 850 or whatever each. Why didn't we do that? And then Mike tells him straight up because you said it was the right thing to do to give back the money. And I do. And Mike says the only reason I didn't do it was because I was told to do a job. I do it and then I go about my business. And then this is what we're going to, this is the evolution of Saul Goodman. This is freaking Jimmy saying, you know what? I'm never going to feel that way. I'm never going to do that again. So we're going to see Slippin' Jimmy become somewhat of an, he's he's going to go by the book and lawyer, but he's also going to, you know, take it to the next level of maybe helping crooks and stuff that we see and become Saul Goodman that we know from Breaking Bad. And it's interesting because I'm watching, re-watching Breaking Bad and just seeing Saul like this is definitely a different type of personality from the beginning of the season. I mean, Jimmy and Saul are two different people. Saul Goodman is definitely a, he's so confident. He's so like, he's all about the money, basically. He's all, he's smart. He pretty much tells Jesse and Heisenberg, A.K.A. Uh, Walt, that your jackasses, that why, what are you guys doing? You guys are barely, you know, you know, surviving here. You need, I got hookups with hookups and all that hookups. So it is very interesting to see how, you know, Jimmy became Saul. Gotta say, since this is the season finale, absolutely love the season of Better Call Saul. Thought it was great, great spinoff. I, you know what? Rewatching Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad is a little bit slower. I mean, I'm going to be reviewing Breaking Bad, but I'm letting you know right now it's kind of slow. And there are slower moments, but it, it is an amazing show still. It's an amazing show, but I think I had more fun watching this season of Better Call Saul. Just the humor in it, just the tone it set, just the pacing it had. It did t- start off a little bit slow in the beginning too because Saul wasn't really doing too much or Jimmy wasn't really doing anything major. It was just really him being this uh, unlucky guy, but it really did serve a purpose it really just made it overall fun to watch every week uh every week especially that two hour special especially having some of the cameos that made sense when they put those cameos in they made it made sense uh and it's good to have mike in here i love the character mike so it's always good to see his backstory as well it's not only jimmy aka sal's backstory it's also mike's backstory and that's great absolutely love better call saul season one the season finale was a little bit, I don't want to say a letdown, but it didn't feel like a season finale, but it was a very solid, good episode. Definitely great to see, you know, Jimmy be starting to form into Saul Goodman. Oh, Saul Goodman, man. What's going to happen to the rest of the supporting characters? What's going to happen to Kim? What's going to happen to Chuck? What's going to happen to these? What's going to happen to Howard? What's going to happen to the firm? What is the deal with that stuff? So I... Just cannot wait to see, especially with Kim and Saul, and especially with uh, Mike and Saul, and how they form a friendship that is. So, 
are a, more of a friendship that is and more of a uh, business partnership. So great stuff. Love Better Call Saul season one. Thought this was a solid episode. Can't wait for season two. So thank you guys for listening. Subscribe, like, and I'm sorry about the last review. I just had no idea. I was like, I could have swore that the season finale was going to be next weekend. But I guess this is the season finale. Uh, Must have been another show I was thinking of. So, ah, whoops, brand fart. Uh, But absolutely love the season. Great, great way to end it. You know, with uh, Saul, you can see the transformation happening. So, thank you guys for listening. See you guys later.